Welcome back, legends. Today, we're going deeper than we've ever gone before. This is the full breakdown, the complete understanding, the big picture. No shortcuts, no hype, no step-by-step -step instructions, just pure plant science explained in a calm, smooth, relatable way. This is for educational understanding only, not guidance, not advice not encouragement to grow in places where it is not legal. Always know the laws in your region and stay responsible. When people talk about yield, they often look for tricks, shortcuts or magic formulas. But yield isn't magic. Yield is the result of interaction. Between genetics, environment, plant structure and time. If you understand how the plant behaves, you understand where yield comes from. Just before we jump in, our new Budfellas courses are now available at the shop. If you are serious about learning plant science the right way, have a look below. Before anything else, yield begins with genetic potential. Every cannabis plant carries a blueprint inside it, a set of instructions that define how tall it naturally grows, how it branches, how dense its flowers can become, what kind of aromas it expresses, how much energy it puts into flower production. You can think of genetics like the potential score on a locked door. Environment is the key that unlocks it. Some plants are naturally built to stack dense flowers close together. Others spread out airy flowers with more breathing space between buds. Some stretch tall, some stay compact. Some respond differently to stress, and some handle varying environments better than others. There is no single best plant, only different expressions. Yield is not determined solely by genetics, but genetics define the ceiling. Everything else affects how close the plant gets to that ceiling. If genetics define what is possible, light defines how much energy is available. Light is the plant's fuel. It is how the plant converts energy into growth. A plant that grows tall with one main central stem, often called a Christmas tree shape, tends to produce one dominant top flower. The main cola receives most of the energy and the lower flowers remain smaller. This isn't because the plant prefers that outcome. It's because the lower flowers receive less light. When light is uneven, flower development becomes uneven. On the other hand, when the plant grows with a wide, even canopy, more bud sites receive similar energy levels. This is why growers often value plants with good lateral branching, strong side growth, even top height across multiple branches, more bud sites receiving more light, more potential yield. Again, this is not instruction, it is explanation. Understanding the concept does not require doing anything. It simply explains why plant shape affects final outcome. Above the soil, we see the leaves, stems and buds. Below the soil is the engine that drives it all, the root system. The roots are responsible for water absorption, nutrient processing, oxygen intake, internal communication regulation, structural support. If the roots are stressed, the plant is stressed. A stressed plant does not focus on building flower mass. It focuses on survival. Survival mode slows growth, limits development and reduces yield potential. A root system thrives when it has access to oxygen. Moisture levels remain balanced. The environment is not too compacted or stagnant. The plant does not experience extreme fluctuations. Healthy roots, strong developmental potential. Weak roots, limited growth capacity. If genetics define the blueprint and light defines energy, the environment defines how the plant reacts. Plants respond directly to the surrounding conditions. Temperature affects metabolic speed. Humidity affects water movement and leaf behavior. Airflow affects breathing and CO exchange. Light intensity signals how the plant allocates resources. A stable environment encourages the plant to remain in growth mode. 
Growth mode means energy goes to flower development. Buds gain density and weight. Aromas and oils develop fully. An unstable environment pushes the plant into survival mode. Survival mode means energy goes into protection. Growth slows down. Flowers develop less. A plant must feel safe to invest in building large, dense flowers. Flowering is not one process. It is three distinct phases. Phase 1. Structural stage. Early flower. The plant shifts from growing leaves to forming the structure of the flower clusters. Not much weight is gained here, just the framework. Phase 2. Mass and density stage. Mid-flower. This is when the plant packs on most of the weight. The cells expand, the structure fills in, and the flowers begin to take their full form. Phase 3. Ripening and oil development. Late flower. This is where aroma, character, and internal oils develop. Rushing this stage reduces flavor, density, and experience. Patience in this phase has one of the strongest impacts we ace on final yield quality. Even after the plant has finished developing, the process is not complete. Drying determines how much moisture remains in the flower, the structural integrity, whether oils and terpenes are preserved or lost. Drying too fast forces the outside to harden while the inside remains wet. This causes harsh texture, loss of aroma, brittleness, reduced visual appeal. A slow, steady dry allows moisture to equalize throughout the flower. Curing allows internal compounds to stabilize, deepen and mature. It is during this stage that many of the aromas and flavors fully develop. Even if everything else was done perfectly, a rushed finish can erase weeks of development. So legends, maximizing yield is not about adding more, it is about understanding more. Yield is shaped by genetic potential, light distribution and plant structure, a strong, healthy root foundation, a stable, balanced environment. Respect for the flower development timeline. A slow and careful finish. There are no shortcuts. There are no magic formulas. The plant already knows how to grow. It has known for thousands of years. Our role is not to force it, but to understand it. Stay lifted, legends. This video is proudly sponsored by Spider Farmer, one of the leading names in grow lights and tents. If you're serious about healthy plants and bigger harvests, Spider Farmer has the gear you need. Check out their full range through the link in the description. And don't forget to use our discount code BUDFELLAS at checkout for 8% off your order. Big thanks to Spider Farmer for supporting BUDFELLAS and plant education.